events on several mesh construction sites. In March, construction of the Design and Technological Bureau Sovelmash reached another milestone, that is, pouring of the floor of the ground floor with concrete. The builders started preparing for that. They isolated the warehouse part of the floor from the production one, and they closed all window and door apertures. They also started heating the ground. After that, the builders will put thermal insulation, reinforcement grade, and will start pouring. Mounting of doors, windows, and roofing external casing also continued. There was anti-fire treatment of metal constructions. Most of the building now looks complete. The frame for interwall partitions started to be mounted on the mezzanine of the first floor. The builders did groundwork to enable access to power cables to take them away from the premises. It is done to avoid easement for joint use of utility lines. On the 21st of March, specialists from Savalmash Laboratory started to check the building for thermal losses. Using thermal imagery devices, they assessed the frame, the walls and the roof of the warehouse part. Such measurements will be conducted regularly to check for warm air leaks in the dynamic mode. Quality control of the construction is one of the company's priorities. The goal is for the building to be in line with all the requirements. Guests on the construction site on the 23rd of March, the site was visited by representatives and management of the Special Economic Zone Technopolis Moscow, including its CEO, Gennady Doktiev. The delegation was taking around the site under construction. They were shown the results of constructing the Design and Technological Bureau. As compared to other residents of the Special Economic Zone Technopolis Moscow, Zawalmash was quite highly appraised. Ivan Lazarevich, deputy editor-in-chief of the Zelenograd newspaper 41, visited the construction site at the beginning of March. He talked to the head of Savalmash press service, Alexander Sudarev, and he prepared materials to be published. An article was published in the newspaper 41 on the 18th of March. It was called Import Replacement in Action. The article described the process of constructing the building and highlighted its unique features, especially the fact that Savalmash is ready not to use any imported components and produce everything it needs by itself. Savalmash Developments in March, Sovelmash employees continued to improve the company's developments. One of them is technological equipment for drawing in basic insulation into the built-in motor based on the technology of combined winding Slavyanka. Besides, Sovelmash employees tested the technology of vacuum casting of aluminium under pressure. Short-circuit rotors of inbuilt motors were cast. They are meant for home appliances and manual electric tools, including angle grinders. Thanks to the casting technology that Sovelmash uses, high-quality products without oxide inclusions could be obtained. Developments with the technology Slavyanka. Sovelmash partner and head of the company ASPP Weihai, Viktor Aristov, launched a serious production of a new electric motor with combined windings in China. The motor DA95S replaces the previously produced motors DA100S and DA100SL. The new four-pole motor is smaller and lighter than the previous one, while its efficiency and speed are higher. It will be used for motorbikes with a speed of 110-120 km per hour, and also in cars where the speed of 7 70 80 km per hour is needed. Two more modifications of an electric motor with combined windings, DA80S and DA112S, are getting ready for serial production. The company's team sent a kit based on DA90SN motor to Sri Lanka. There, it will be placed in a tuk tuk instead of an internal combustion engine. Apart from the motor, the kit includes a ventilator, a controller, a throttle, cabling, and other components. Any owner of a vehicle will be able to mount it by themselves. Investor of the project Duinov's motor from Sri Lanka, who is now in Russia, helped sending the kit. He thinks that mass usage of motors based on Slavyanka technology will make air in his country cleaner. It will also help solve the problem of expensive fuel. If a solar battery is mounted on a tricycle together with the Duinov's motor, cars will be able to run without charging from the network. Solar Group mobile app Another step on the way to improvement is Solar Group IT platform. Solar Group mobile app is now available in Google Play and Apple apps. A link for download is in the description of this video. It is the first external service of the platform. You can learn news about the project and solo group in the mobile app. You can also see the schedule of all the past and future events. The mobile app is now available in Russian and in English. It will be available in other languages in the future. Work is in progress on the second version of the app. It will have full functionality in terms of account and wallet. You will be able to top up your account, transfer money and buy investment packages. A new section is now available in the back office. It is Methodology of Partners Work. It is in the section to Partners in the Education tab. They are educational materials that will help Solo Group partners to effectively promote the project and attract financing into it. 
The section already contains eight chapters. It will be further filled with practical and useful information for partners.